I have learned so much using Dexcom. I've learned how food affects my body, how exercise affects my body, um, how adrenaline affects my body. We use the alerts on the Dexcom and it beeps if our blood sugar is high and out of range or if it's low and out of range and it gives us a quicker response to treat high and low blood sugar and so we're able to respond much faster. The Dexcom G6 is a great tool for managing your diabetes and I think it's extremely easy to use. There are no finger sticks. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get started with the Dexcom G6 app. Getting started is easy. There are just three steps. First, go through the app setup screens. Second, insert your sensor and attach your transmitter. And third, pair your transmitter and start the sensor two hour warm up. First, let's set up the app. Download the Dexcom G6 app. If you have the G5 app installed, delete it before installing the G6 app. Then log in. If you have created an account with Dexcom in the past, use that same username and password. If you have never created an account with Dexcom, create a Dexcom account. The app walks you through the entire setup process step by step. The first few screens provide information and videos. Watch these videos and read the information screens. You will come to a screen where you need to set your low alert. I decide to set my alert to 85. That way I have time to react before my glucose gets too low. Tap save to set your low alert. Now set your high alert. I set my high alert to 240. You should work with your healthcare professional to determine which low and high alerts would be best for you. Next, I need to enter a sensor code. My sensor code is on the sensor applicator. The next few screens walk you through connecting your transmitter to your smart device. Your transmitter and smart device connect using Bluetooth. The app automatically checks to see if your Bluetooth is on. Next, you need to enter your transmitter serial number. The serial number is on the back of your transmitter box. That's it for app setup. Now you'll need to insert your sensor and attach your transmitter. To insert your sensor, first choose a place on your abdomen. If you are under 18, you have the option to place it on your upper buttocks as well. Choose a site at least three inches away from your insulin pump infusion set or injection site. Avoid bony areas like ribs and hip bones and areas with scarring, tattoos, hair, or irritation. First, wash and dry your hands. Clean your skin with rubbing alcohol and let it dry. Grab the sensor you use during setup and remove both labels. Do not touch adhesive. Place the applicator on skin. Remove the safety guard. Fold and break it off. Press the button to insert sensor. Remove the applicator. You've successfully inserted your sensor. You'll wear each sensor for 10 days. Now it's time to attach your transmitter. Take your transmitter out of the box. Clean your transmitter with an alcohol wipe and let it dry. Insert the tab of the transmitter into the slot on the transmitter holder. Snap the transmitter firmly into place. Rub around the patch three times. You've successfully attached your transmitter. You'll reuse the same transmitter for three months. Once your transmitter is attached, you can swim, bathe, and shower like normal. Now it is time to pair your transmitter and start your sensor. Wait for your transmitter to pair, then tap the Start Sensor button. Now your sensor warm-up has begun. The warm-up will take two hours to complete. You will not receive alerts or readings during this two-hour sensor warm-up. After your two-hour warm-up, you get your first sensor glucose reading. See that number in the gray circle? That's an example of a sensor glucose in target range. It updates every five minutes. Over time, your graph fills in. When you go below your low alert setting, the app alerts you and the circle turns red. When you go above your high alert setting, the app alerts you and the circle turns yellow. The urgent low soon alert will alert you when your glucose is falling fast and you will be at 55 in less than 20 minutes. This gives you time to take action to prevent a low. This is your urgent low alarm. 
This alarm will alert if you go below 55. You cannot change, turn off, or silence this alarm. Your glucose is always changing. This is why the trend arrow is important. It shows where your glucose is heading and how fast it's moving. Arrows help you avoid being low or high by taking action before you are already too low or too high. Of course, if you have any questions during setup or any other time, call Dexcom Technical Support or Dexcom Care.